Cats hold a special place in Islam and are viewed as holy animals. Above all, they are admired for their cleanliness. They are thought to be ritually clean which is why they are allowed to enter homes and even mosques. According to authentic narrations, one may make ablution for prayer with the same water that a cat has drunk from. It's even permissible to eat from the same bowl that a cat has eaten from. They are often regarded as beloved and respected creatures. The Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him, have a great fondness for cats and treated them with care. Unlike dogs, cats have been revered for centuries in Muslim culture. So much so, that one of Prophet Muhammad's companions was known as Abu Huraira, father of the kittens, in reference for his attachment to cats. The Prophet himself was a great cat lover, Mueza was the name of his favorite cat. Narrated Ibn Umar, I. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, a woman was punished on account of a cat which she held captive till it died. Hence, she entered the hellfire due to, her mistreatment of, the cat. She did not feed it or give it water while she held it captive, nor did she let it out so that it may eat the things that creep on the earth. Cats hold a special place in Islam and they are considered as pure animals and they are halal, permitted, to keep as pets. Was narrated from Kapshabint Kab, who was married to one of the sons of Abi Katada, that she poured water for Abu Katada to perform ablution. A cat came and drank the water, and he tilted the vessel for it. She started looking at it, in surprise, and he said, O oh daughter of my brother, do you find it strange? The messenger of Allah said, They, cats, are not impure, they are of those who go around among you. Here are some benefits of owning a cat in Islam. 1. Affection and companionship. Cats are known for their affectionate nature and can provide companionship to individuals, particularly those living alone. It encourages to treat animals with kindness and mercy in Islam. And cats can fulfill the need for companionship, offering comfort and emotional support to their owners. No doubt, cats are often believed to be loyal friends. A study shows that having a cat can reduce stress and anxiety and encourage us to participate in active movement and physical activity. 2. Purity and cleanliness. They are considered to be naturally clean animals. Cleanliness is highly valued in Islam, Islamic traditions. And cats are seen as purifying creatures. According to a famous hadith, cats are not impure their fur is regarded as clean. This is why they are allowed to enter home and mosques. 3. As pests control. Cats are natural herders and excellent at controlling pests particularly rodents. In Islamic cultures, cats are appreciated for their ability to keep homes and environments free for pests. Such as mice and rats. This aspect of cats' behavior can contribute to a cleaner and healthier living space. For dot mercy and compassion. Islam emphasizes mercy and compassion towards all creatures. Cats are known for their vulnerability and treating them with kindness and care. Aligns with Islamic teachings. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was known to have a fondness for cats and treated with gentleness and respect setting examples for Muslims to follow. 5. Get rid of and forgiveness of Allah. The next benefit of keeping a cat according to Islam is getting forgiveness and the pleasure of Allah. If we take good care of cats, then we have shown our gratitude to Allah for the blessings he has given us. We have also shown our love for the Prophet peace be upon him, who really loves cats. Thus, we hope to receive forgiveness and pleasure from Allah for sins and mistakes. 6. As a scale of good deeds in the afterlife. Keeping a cat according to Islam is that it becomes a scale for good deeds in the hereafter. In a hadith narrated by Muslim, Rasulullah peace be upon him said, Surely Allah will admit a woman into paradise because she gave a thirsty dog to drink by taking water from a well with his shoe. From this hadith, we can understand that giving a thirsty dog a drink can be the cause of someone's entry into heaven. Especially if we give a drink to the cat which is the Prophet's favorite animals. 7. Get the intercession of the Prophet peace be upon him. In a hadith narrated by Ahmed, Rasulullah peace be upon him said, Indeed I will intercede on the day of judgment to those who love these animals, cats. From this hadith, we can know that the would intercede for people who love cats. 
This is a great privilege and honor for those who take good care of cats. Cats hold symbolic significance in Islamic culture. They are believed to possess qualities such as agility, grace, and keen perception. Some Muslim view cats as a reminder of the importance of being attentive and mindful as well as being cautious and observant in one's actions. It is important to know that while cats have these benefits Islamic culture, they are not regarded as sacred or objects of worship rather, they are seen as creatures deserving of care, respect and compassion and their treatment is considered as a reflection of a person's character.